Well, I figured out how to get this thing to be mounted and get a good video, and uh, this is the way I've got it on my head. I'm using it with my magnifiers because I've got to use these, and uh, the magnifiers shade me from the uh, light above, so it all works out really well. And uh, now I just got to be able to see what the flip I am doing. There we go. And uh, I've got to fill in back here underneath. And I got to get the right tool. It took, took some jury rigging to get this uh, to work. I had to tape. Because of the weight of the thing, it wants to pull the uh, visor down on my eyeglass, or my magnifiers. And uh, so I had to put some tape on there to uh, adjust that. I'm seeing fine out of the one eye today. It takes me a, a, about three or four hours to get my eyes working. All right, I figured out what the problem is. Putting it in the wrong place. <laughs> I put the magnet under my shirt, I mean the uh, piece of steel plate or washer, under my shirt. Now that I know how to connect to the Wi-Fi, I can actually see on my my uh, uh, cell phone, my LG uh, Galaxy 8 phone, uh, the video that I'm shooting. So I can line my camera up to uh, take in the full figure. And I'm just going to go ahead and start working on this. I'm not sure I'll be using this camera, but uh, I thought I'd give it a try. And uh, I tried it earlier on my uh, my magnifying uh, head here or head unit, and uh, it just didn't work. So I took a break, went in, and figured it all out. And then, and I just figured it, the first way was better. It's just better because. Now that I can see on my cell phone before I start, I can see that it's lined up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue working on the clay here and uh, switching between uh, camera one and two and three. <laughs> the uh, shirt cam, as I'm going to call it, is camera two. My left hand camera is camera one and my right hand camera is uh, camera three. I don't think the view from uh, the small camera is worthy but uh, We'll see how that works out. There's a uh, vacant, or not a vacant, but a small space. It's uh, exposed right there between the shirt and the fringe. And I just saw that. I had somebody ask me why do I, I don't play music in the background and I don't because it's all copyrighted and if I want to make any money off my videos I've got to have uncopyrighted stuff on my video and uh, the crap they give you at YouTube for background music is 
copyright free is crap. So, I'd love to be listening to music right now, but I can't. I guess I could record a whole bunch of, uh, or at least 10 minutes of me with no sound, and then I could just dub that in to parts where I'm listening to music, but that's a pain in the wazoo. don't realize how much crap you gotta fill in to you actually start doing it. This is uh, probably going to bore the crap out of you guys. I don't know how much of this I'm going to show because, quite honestly, this is the part that's mind-bendingly boring. There's no creativity to it. You're just filling in and, and stuff like that. big hole right there. Oh, that's just opening up to that, okay. It's not a big hole. That's a big hole. That's what I'm going to be doing for the next two days, or actually next day or so. Uh, Sunday, I'm going to have to start that portrait because uh, of uh, my friend who passed away a couple months back. Because we're going to have a memorial on Monday and I want to have something for uh, him to show. He's asked me to do that. so and Then we're going to take this to the foundry on Tuesday. So my the pressure is not there at all. <laughs> no pressure whatsoever, Dave. Get everything done in just a couple of days. And I hope your eyes hold out. I've got a young lady that, uh, at the foundry who goes over my work in case I miss uh, some holes. And uh, her name's Elaine. I've known her since she was 14 or 12. She used to come to my studio. Her father 
her stepfather is a good friend of mine and uh, she started out sculpting dragons but now she does statues of uh, astrology figures and she's really good at it but anyway she told me she'd fill in holes that I don't see sometimes it takes another pair of eyes to see what I can't see All right, that's going to be it for today, and I'll come back tomorrow. I'm just going to continue filling, but I don't want to have to think about my camera angle and all that set up. Whoop, left the light on. All right, everybody have a great night, and uh, this, uh, let me give my final opinion on this. Uh, on real camera it's great for some things I'm not sure it's gonna be great for this uh, just trying it out just basically to see if it will or not right now I'm not sure that it will and so I'm probably not going to use it anymore after today because I think the view of the uh, sculpture is too far away to really see what I'm doing. I'm just going to wait until I get it on the computer and see. All right, this uh, evening, my sprinkler's going. I'm going to sit out here for a few minutes before I get back on the clay and just relax in the cool evening. It's uh, just about 85 degrees right now, but it's not a hot 85. It's just a real nice... 85. This is my backyard. I gotta cut this yard. I'm gonna have to do it next week though because I have no time right now. Ah. My van, which will be paid off this month. Paid off, mind you. It's a 2012 and it still runs beautifully. Alright, good night everybody and I hope you enjoy your evening. Like I'm going to. Give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs uh, the link down below this video all right see you next time